Hi, this is Grant Moon. I'm making the next in the series of videos, Back to Basics. That's um, shoes that you can use every day in your truck, in your everyday shoeing business, and shoe modifications that you can use for certification. What I'm going to start with is a Delta number one Challenger TS8. We're going to turn it into a hind shoe that's going to be about a, a zero because we're going to trailer the outside heel, we're going to cut the inside heel short, we're going to square the toe. Once we've cut the inside heel and trailered the outside heel, it means that we're going to have to totally reshape the shoe to get the quarters in the right place. We're going to have to move them forward. Step one, I'm going to do the lateral trailer. I'm going to bend it out so when it's bent out, it basically lines up with the angle of the frog. Then I'm going to cut the inside heel and then it'll be square toe and shape the shoe. Get my tongs in line with the branch, about three quarters of an inch before the heel. I start hitting into the corner, and as I hit into the corner, in, with the corner of my hammer, I lift up with my tongs, and that starts my trailer. I put it where my trailer starts. Now, and I push the trailer down to the anvil, and as it contacts the anvil, I drop my tongs to give it a place to go. If I don't drop my tongs, all I'm going to do is compress the trailer. So it's to drop and hit, drop and hit simultaneously. I flatten it, I tip it on the diagonal, keeping it in contact, clean up my lines. This saves a little bit of grinding at the end. So now because I put the trailer on, my quarter's too far back. Now obvious that we need to move our quarters forward. Now I'm going to cut off my inside heel to where the start of the trailer is. So I mark it before I put it back in the fire. Okay. Now when I cut it, I cut it hot, but I'll only go a little bit over three quarters of the way through. I'll cool it and it'll break off easily. Take my heel cutter, place it on the mark. Cut three quarters of the way through. Take it to the water bucket. Cool the end of the heel out, back to the mark. Bring it back to the anvil. And we can break it off very easily. And we've got a nice cut. Now we've got to shape the shoe, so I'll start with the toe and then I'll do my branches. I always start at the toe and work to my heels. I use the same process for any shoe. I shape my toe, then shape my branches. I keep my tongs in line with the toe now, and I hook it just in front of the toe now, and I push down. I straighten that side of the toe, I turn it, hold it in line with the tongue, with, hold the tongs in line with the toe again, so it's just in front of the toe now, push it over, and at this point, we've got most of our square toe done. There'll be a couple of hits now in the middle to straighten it. So we've got our square toe done. Let's forge the corner. What's important is we keep the toe of our shoe balanced the whole time. We don't let it get out of control. Put my tongs in line with what I'm working. Set my toe quarter, move it to where I want my quarter to be, set my quarters, and then bend it behind the quarters. Then at the end, I can just put a bit of heel check on the heel. Flatten the shoe. Check I've still got my shoe balanced. Now I need to do the outside branch the same. Right now we can see just in front of the trailer, the shoe donkeys out. And this can be a typical problem when we make a trailer. So we're going to sh start shaping from the toe to the quarters and then to the heel. When we want to bend the end of the heel in, what we'll do is we'll cool out the end of the trailer. We'll cool out the end of the trailer so the branch is still hot and then we can forge the shoe to shape right to the end and take away the donkeying. Hold my shoe on the inside toe quarter, tongs in line with the branch, set my outside toe quarter. Move it to where I want the quarters, just straighten it a bit, 
bend my quarters. Now I want to bend it right to the end of the heel. I'd like to hit the end of the trailer, but it's too hot. So what I'll do is I'll cool the end of the trailer, and then I can use the end of the trailer as a, hit, a hitting point so I can get the whole branch to bend around. Cool out the end of my trailer. Once my trailer's cold, I can put it on the end there and bend my branch, and then bend right to the end of the branch. Once I've shaped my shoe, I can level my shoe, working from heel to the toe, then from toe to heel, with every hammer blow overlapping. Once we've leveled the shoe, we can test our nail holes with a Delta 5 Slim Blade again. We haven't damaged any of the nail holes. Once we've finished forging the shoe, then we can do a little bit of grinding to, to shape the heel so it has the same heel cut as the angle of the frog. Same with the trailer, the angle of the frog. On the reverse side, we'll box it from the widest point to the end of the heel so we can visualize the heel of the foot on it. And the same on the outside branch. We'll box it and we can then visualize where the heel of the foot's gonna sit. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the heel check on, do the heel check on the outside, then I'm gonna box it off from the quarters around to the center of the heel. I'm gonna do the same thing on the outside branch, I'm gonna box it from the heel to the quarters, then I'm gonna box off the trailer. So what we've started with was a Delta TS8 hind, number one, and we finished with a square toe lateral trailer hind for a zero. Now I've taken the shoe to the foot and I've marked where I need to trim the inside heel. That will allow the material for the lateral trailer. So it's cut the heel, trailer it, square toe, and then quarter clip it. Cutting my heel. Go to my trailer. Clean up the corners. Cool out my heel. In one heat, I've got my heel cut. I've got my trailer done. Now I'm gonna square the toe, give it a bit of a shape up, and then clip it. Square the toe, making sure it doesn't get too wide on this foot. Set my toe quarter. Set my toe quarter. We'll level it. Shape the outside branch a bit while I've got the heat in it. Clip with a cross pin. Level behind the clips first. It's always the place that gets unflat. I'll level it from clip to clip. And from clip to heel. Set the clips into the edge of the shoe, the edge of the hoof wall.
That's a case of not burning it on too much right now. We're burning it back. The first thing I'm looking at is to set the shoe back half the thickness of the hoof wall when I'm there. Then I start looking at the shoe fit. <sighs> Outside's good. Inside's just a little bit tight. So I'm just gonna go back and widen it. Yeah, I'm, my, I'm pulling it out. You can see I'm lifting the branch out. Once we've got it burnt where we want, burn back to where we want it. And we're just gonna burn on, get it flat, and a nice even burn. Okay, there we are. Now I need to create the heel check on the inside from the heel to the center of the toe so it follows the frog. And then I'll just clean up the outside one. Once we've done that, I'll box the outside edge of the shoes. Straight the inside. So I've boxed it on the hoof side and safety it on the ground side. K-12-5 slim blade nail, good size head, locks into the shoe very well, thin shank so that it doesn't cause much wall displacement in this dry environment. I don't like to drive the nails too high because I want to be able to shoe it in a month or six weeks and drive new nail holes. I also don't want to drive them too low where they cause fracturing of the hoof wall around the bottom edge. So about one third of the way up the foot at the heel and flat line in front. Tighten the nails up. Once I've clinched it, I round up the toe like an unshod horse. So I round off the outside edge so it's not sharp. We've got our square toe in the direction of travel. We've shortened the inside branch, a little bit of expansion, a little bit of expansion in the trailer. <laughs> 